Hi, I am Naeem Akram Malik from Test Automation TV. I have created this video to help Vibe coding enthusiasts save their work from accidental mess ups. Generative AI can make things and it can also break things. So if you want to learn how to keep your code safe, just continue watching and if you want to learn how to use git in cursor projects for keeping your work safe please just mention it in the comments and i will make a video about that too in this video i will show you how to ensure your project's safety so keep watching till the end and do subscribe to my channel for more updates about vibe coding, gen AI and automation. For this video and any tutorials that will come afterwards, I have created a dedicated site and I have used Replit for creating this site. The URL of the site will be given in the video description so you can check it out. And I have been using Replit since uh, the very early versions of Replit agent which were launched last year. So every uh, Replit project or REPL comes with a special software which is called Git. Git is a version control system and the Replit agent and Replit assistants both use Git for creating checkpoints. The checkpoints which are used to track progress of agent and assistant. The real beauty of the Git version control system is that first of all it is free and open source and it is a distributed version control. So being a distributed version control system means in simple terms that it is possible to use github.com or even bitbucket.com as a backup of your work which is stored in Replit. So you can have a backup of your work in uh, GitHub as well. Having a backup is very helpful in cases where your account gets banned or it gets deleted by Replit. Such problems have happened in the past that people's accounts were deleted, they were overwritten or they were locked for some reasons and although the accounts were sometimes restored later on but people's work were, was totally lost. So if you want to safeguard against such problems as well, I highly recommend that you follow this video and you create a backup of your code on a GitHub repository. You can keep your code in a private GitHub repository where it won't be visible to anybody else. And one last thing, you will need to have a free github.com account to back up your work to github because you will be creating repositories in github. What is the repository? I will explain it to you later on but it is a very simple concept, it is just like a project. So you can have a private repository free of charge in github.com because github.com is owned by Microsoft which is you know a very rich company. So they can afford to give people free code uh, tools. So you can create a free, free github.com account and keep your code in a private repository where it will not be visible to anybody else. So now let us head over to Replit to learn about the hidden secrets of Replit and Git. First of all, how can we locate Git in a Replit project? So over here I have opened a Replit project. My project is made in Python and HTML, a Python Flask project. It can be any project, it can be a Node.js project or anything else. So over here if you go in the all tools and you click the all tools you can scroll down a little bit in the workspace features you will be able to see git the git version control for your app if you click it then the git will open in a window in the center stage another way is if uh, the center stage is empty then you can just scroll down 
and you will be able to find the git version control for your app so once the git is opened by clicking the git icon a list of checkpoints or commits uh, which were made so far in this project will be shown what replit calls a checkpoint git calls a commit so details of every commit can be seen by clicking on the commit name or the commit link over here and you see every commit has a unique identifier which is associated to every commit and you can copy it from here uh, how you can use it will come later on for now you just need to know that a unique identifier is uh, associated with every commit and it is given up here and a commit essentially represents a set of changes or a change set so any files included in a change set of a commit are going to be listed over here and you can open and see them which files were modified which files were added which files were deleted but uh, explaining the differences is going to be slightly i believe beyond the scope of this video so maybe we will do it on another day so over here if you go back from the commit ui in the main git replit ui you will see that it is showing a message that no remote repository is configured to push your changes add a remote repository in the settings view this means that you can go to the settings view let me click the settings view and specify some parameters related to github for which you definitely need a github account and then create a backup of your code on github you can do much more than creating just a plain backup but again that comes later on first of all you need to know the very basic principles the first uh, what is what elon musk calls the first principles of uh, source control and the first principles of backing up your code so i have already set up my uh, git account with uh, replit it is a very simple process you just click over here and you grant permissions to github and it just goes so my uh, github is configured and i am going to specify a name over here first of all for example i say git and uh, we can add a description over here as well and from here you can select whether you want to keep your repository public or private so i will keep my repository public you can keep yours private it is free of charge so after specifying these parameters first of all you need to create a repository so i will click create a repository in github okay so once the repository is created you will see that over here a remote url will be added a remote url basically means that the url of the backup site and from here you can click back and now you can see that you will have this button push branch as origin slash main the previous notice has gone away so i will click here okay so now it says pass github credentials i will confirm i have configured that already it is very easy okay so now it says it is pushing the code so you see the term used here is pushing the code to a remote so now the code is being pushed to the remote the remote is not going to pull your code you will have to push the code from here to there and if you make any changes in the remote then you will have to pull the code over here but that's again a separate process it is possible to move code between replit and github it is very easy but i am going to show you in a future video hopefully so please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned so now you see that your code has gone over to the remote and i am going to open my github over here and show you where it has gone i will click on this link over here all right so here is my code it is now backed up and it is a private repository and all of my files are backed up over here so this is how you create a basic backup of your code in github from replit to github you can sync your code from replit to github for safety reasons 
and for use with other platforms as well i hope you found this video to be useful uh, please mention in the comments and let me know if you want me to make more such videos and i am game going to make more such video tutorials for you uh, thank you very much for watching see you in another video bye